Hey guys, International Novice here, and welcome to another episode of Novice Kibitzing. Alright, so we got Hikaru Nakamura, he's, he's playing, he's hungry. He wants some more points. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's continue to, uh, see some chess. So, we've got, okay, I'm gonna try and get his name right here. Raskolin Raskolinikov. Raskolinikov. Okay. There we go. He he wants a rematch. <laughs> so Black is getting his king over to free up his bishop. So now his bishop can move around and his king can kind of Potentially blockade this pawn if need be. Huh? Oh, just winning the rook. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so I imagine, yeah, I was going to say, I imagine just h5, just putting a lot of pressure here. Um, maybe like a bishop maneuver, something like that. That may be too slow. Just winning a piece, threatening this. Oh, well, this is a big threat. Followed by this. Lots of pressure. Lots of pressure. Where does that queen go? Hikaru is hungry. It's the red bull, man. It is the red bull. I mean, I don't even know what white is doing here. Like, there's there's nothing going on with white here. What are these knights doing? What are these knights doing here? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that pawn. I forgot about that age pawn. Wow. So at what point does Hikaru stop gaining points here? Um... Someone said it was 600, so 600 point differential, so that's the case. There's plenty of points to be gained here.
interesting choice to take with the pawn. But I think the logic there is he's, he wants his bishop to be able to still maneuver around if need be. Um, this knight is also pretty locked down as far as the number of squares it has to maneuver to. And meanwhile, this pawn is is fixing this h7 pawn. So yeah, it was a nice, it was a nice, nice play. Okay, so we've got a king's Indian here, I believe. And usually, some of the main ideas are black tries to get an attack going on the king side but I don't know if that's gonna happen here oh okay well maybe although this pawn push looks sketchy I'd wanna blockade this but maybe I'm just too 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 much of a scaredy cat <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I like letting white keep this pawn. I, I would have snatched it. Oof, these pawns are very strong. Very strong pawns here. Yeah. Hard to come up with a good move after that. So is there a threat, an immediate threat here? Like knight takes, knight takes f7? Ah, putting even more pressure. Okay. Whoa. These tactics. <laughs> These tactics. These tactics. Crazy. Couldn't he have... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, maybe this is a threat? Oh, I thought that was. Just dropping a pawn for no reason. I don't know about that one.
Whoa. Tactics. I don't know about I don't know about this uh F five because it seems like it just closes the uh the bishop in. Like where where's black's light square bishop gonna go? Oh sorry if I've been slightly silent. I I don't wanna just fluff up stuff if I if I just don't understand the position, so just let you guys enjoy the game. Also, it's a little bit harder to do commentary on Bullet. We, we've we seen them play this position before, but last game there was um, D takes C6. Hmm? Oh, I, for, I didn't see that that was covering. Yeah, this this pawn is just falling. Uh, two pieces for a rook. That's not too bad. Winning, actually. Yep, just take. Yep. Yeah, this is fine for black. Very nice little blockade here. Or not a blockade, but like a shield. So there's no checks. <laughs> Very nice. How many more points can can Nakamura get? Quick H pawn march by Naka. It's kind of um saying, okay, you have to make some sort of concession here. So the thing is, although Black's light square. Sorry, although Black's dark squares are weakened, um, the dark square bishops are off the board, so it doesn't seem to be too much of an issue for Black here, as far as immediate danger. Interesting. Hmm? That was just a clear blunder there. It's kind of weird. Ah, yeah, it probably was a mouse slip. Oh, anyone recording? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, novice chess. Okay, so 
let's get back to this position here. Okay, so obviously these pawns are kind of um, dangerous. So hmm, really? I don't know. I was thinking some okay now that definitely wins yeah good game So this knight is actually kind of stopping this bishop from getting it to its ideal square. Okay. So probably white's looking to sink his knight there eventually on f5. Maybe this check first? Oh, no, no, no. So, right, this pawn is um, fixed by c3, so. Oh, what's going on here? Targeting this. Okay. It takes, bishop takes. And, yeah, I was going to say, it seems like there should be some type of finishing blow here, but maybe not. So, right, pin the knight. King has to move somewhere immediately. Otherwise, a bishop move just wins. Um, okay. How does black... I mean, how does white finish this here? All of black's pieces are on light square, so this bishop is no good right now <laughs> uh oh mating net mating net okay So black slowly expanding on the king side, looking to crack open um, white's defenses here around his king. Meanwhile, white is trying to get something going on the queen side, but I'm not really seeing anything immediate. So this pawn drops, yeah, oh, wait a second, I like black here, I like black here. Oh, nice move, okay. The knight can't get in. That's a resign. That is a resign.
Yeah, I don't think White can keep this pawn. But, is there any compensation? I mean, it looks like black is pretty tied up. I mean, this pawn looks ridiculous, so maybe... Maybe eventual doubling of the rooks on the g-file. Sorry, e-file. And, uh, putting pressure? I I'm not really sure. White infiltrating. Mm, I was gonna say couldn't white do this, but hitting this guy. Can't you just take right? Now I believe black is just losing here. You can probably actually take this. Oh, actually, mm, no. Yep. More Kings Indian. An early G3. Yeah, and for those, if you're relatively low level like me, um, when you're looking at these games, if if you're trying to learn something, just try and look at like these types of pawn structures and breaks. Um, no need to worry about the specific openings, um, but I mean you can kind of see what black's ideas are and what white's ideas are. So when there's like open files over here, but um, black is kind of has a space advantage on the queen side or sorry the king side then you're probably gonna it's probably safe to bet that black's trying to attack there meanwhile if white isn't doing something on the opposite side or in the center um, then he's probably just losing Okay. So, kind of a, little, a little bit of light score pressure, but I mean, there's these pawns don't seem to be moving anytime soon, so nothing too major. Where does that knight go? Uh oh. Uh oh. This guy drops. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Bishop e6. Wins the queen. Yeah, so I think if that 600 um, claim is true, then what is it? Four, 34. Once Hikaru gets to 34, then 3,034, then he really has no reason to play Raskolnikov anymore. Take. Hmm, this may be drawn actually. Uh, 
And as far as speed, they both seem to be playing at the same speed. Yeah, this looks like a draw. <laughs> Interesting, right, bringing the rook back, threatening these types of ideas. Ah. Uh. I think Hikaru can hold this, but it's very sketchy. Very sketchy. Uh oh. Big rating point drop here. No! <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, no! Oh man, that was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> All he had to do was win that rook and he would have he would have knocked him down. Man. That was crazy. <laughs> Oh man. Mm, probably just taking isn't isn't bad for but of course free material is, is also pretty decent. Threatening this? Is it? Maybe. Yeah, I guess. But just reroute here. Yeah, there's nothing really to do there. Okay, so we have similar King's Indian type of structure here. So, what does that mean? Well, at least in these instances, it means a kingside attack. It doesn't always, but in these games, it's it's been that's been the case. Black black kingside attack. So, looks like this game white is attempting to defend as opposed to counterattack okay well this is just this is just losing a rook for free yeah so if Nakamura wants it, he could play, um, what is it, 10 more games. No, no, no. I keep forgetting that. He's also losing points. So, whenever they, they match to where it's 600 points ahead, that's when Naka will probably stop. Hmm, I like, I like these ideas. I, I liked these ideas. I mean, this queen seems like it's 
Ah, well then the knight can jump in. Okay, never mind. Forcing a queen trade. Knight takes and oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, just takes and GG. Yep. It's tough. It's tough fighting Hikaru. He's like a. It's like a juggernaut. <laughs> So what is what's the idea here? Ah, that's a very nice move. If king takes Oh, I didn't see that the queen was under attack. Yeah, queen couldn't come to h3 because the knight is covering. So Yeah, that's that's a brutal move. The queen was under attack. Okay, so what is what's happening? Three more? Three more? Or is it two more? Not really sure. Bishop G3, I don't know about Bishop G3. I don't know. This check looks... Hmm. I like this move. So the queen can get in laterally for defense if needed. Okay, this is obviously under attack. And white just says I'll just take free material. What? Just... Just take? This is coming right very nice and this may be the last one yep this will probably be the last one unless Naka loses in which case <laughs> who knows it's strange because a lot of times it just seems as though Naka's just pushing the pawn. Of course I'm sure that's not true, but it, it just looks like, okay, I'm just gonna push the pawn and beat you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's no good way to hold on to this pawn. Yeah. Oof. Wait this one? No, not quite, not quite. Yeah, there's really nothing for white to do here. Just kind of sit and try and figure out how to defend against whatever black does. Oh, now this pawn drops. Whoops. And that was the that was the mistake. So does he get does he get a point if they're exactly six hundred? 
Or is it that's it, that's when they stop giving points? I guess we'll find out. Can this knight move somewhere else? Okay. Bishop takes... No. Guess he felt that the bishop was better on the board. Probably correct. I mean, just for defensive purposes. If you run in, into any checks, you know. Maybe you'll need to play bishop f1 or something like that hmm I don't know grabbing two pawns is uh... sometimes all it takes to get a w so not sure not sure that's great wow this coming okay I don't know if it's enough. I don't know if it's enough. Okay, there's of course the time. Okay, so now I don't think he's going to get any more points. So this is this is quite a marathon here. <laughs> that rook is not defended. Okay. Rook c1 c8. Okay. This I was going to I would have taken the light square, but that's okay. Either one is good enough. Seems like I was going to say seems like white is close to done here, but I would have like to route the bishop this way. Okay, well it's over now. Plus zero, that's right. Okay. So Hikaru claiming he's he's done for now. With an even twenty five and zero, but I have to say it was it was definitely a good match um, and I appreciate both of the players playing on chess.com for us to see all right, so that'll do it for this episode of novice Kibitzing, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, catch you guys later thanks bye bye.